All right, here we have a yield curve problem. And so on, on the yield curve, remember we have for a given issuer like the uh, US Treasury, we have a plot of at, at any given time of um, bonds of different maturities and their yields to maturity. And so one of the theories that describes what the yield curve really represents is this expectations theory, where we just think that the um, a, a long-term rate is just going to capture um, investors' expectations about a series of short-term rates. And so that's exactly what we're going to use here to build um, this thing that we're going to call a three-year rate. And so remember what, what we're dealing with here. A three-year rate is just the yield to maturity of a three-year bond. Okay, we're going to report this in annual terms, but it's the yield to maturity of a three-year bond. And so what do we have? We have expected nominal rates of 2.9% in the first year, this number in the second year, and this number in the third year. And so if we're thinking about a three-year investment problem and we're going to leave compounding here at an annual frequency to just to keep things simple we're going to we're going to think of investing at 2.9 percent here 2.6 percent here and 5.0 percent here and so really this 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 three year uh this three year rate answers the question well what three year constant rate would get us to the same point when we move from time zero to time three. So we just want to think about what an investment at these three one-year rates would uh, look like. So 1.029 in the first year, we're going to multiply by 1.026 to take our investment through the second year, and then multiply by 1.05, and that's going to take our investment through the third year. All right, so, for a three-year rate to capture this same scenario, we would have this as being true, right? So we could either invest at the series of one-year rates or invest for three years at some single rate R, and we want to get to the same point. And so that's why we have the equality here. And so now all we have to do is the math. On the left, I'm just going to multiply this out. 1.029 times 1.026 times 1.05. So what does that equal? That's 1.1085. So I'll go ahead and write this down. This is a rounded number. I'm going to leave the other one in my calculator so that I can lose all the rounding. So this is what we're dealing with here. 1.1085 is equal to 1 plus r to the third. And so how am I going to find r? Well, I'll just raise both sides to the 1 third power, and that'll get rid of my exponents. So let's do that straight in my calculator. I'm going to say raise to the what power? 1 third. What does that equal? So I get 1.0349, and so what is R? R is 3.49%. Okay, and so if you're thinking about the yield curve, this would be the one-year rate, and this would be the three-year rate. 